This is an 8 and 3 quarter inch telescope which I made back in 1975. The telescope cost virtually nothing. The mirror was ground and took about 80 hours and uh, the rest of the stuff that it's made from is well and truly just junk. The whole exercise taught me a hell of a lot in so much that as long as your optics are good it doesn't matter what the scope looks like and it only costs you one thing time. To give an idea the mirror was made using a mirror kit and uh, it was hard work to be fair and most frustrating but if you get it right that is the way to go. The rest of the telescope was made from literally what was available to hand including even a BBC stage weight would you believe which was used to counterbalance the whole lot. The ends of the telescope tubes were in fact fabricated from two pieces of plastic that I collared from two guys working in the road doing some water mains and the separators for those were fluorescent gear tray cover spines. You know the old fluorescent lights? Nothing special in that. The frame of the equatorial mount is just simple 4x2 wood. Nothing difficult, nothing hard and all available at your local DIY store and costing very little indeed. Far from the shiny telescope I've got now, but this was the humble beginning that started me off and cost nothing at all. Looking down the aperture of the scope, to the extreme left there you can see a pram wheel with its centre banged out so the spokes are removed. That was used for the RA drive and you can also see the hint of the conduit boxes there that were used for the bearings so you use terminal box at one end and then after that two through boxes which uh, provided you with the, the bearings themselves. Looking down the optical tube again you can see the main mirror in the background there and also in the foreground you can see the spider which supports the secondary mirror the spider was made from old aluminium uh, which I think was part of an aluminium back plate used on the back of a gas fire um, which I got hold of. The actual secondary mirror itself is mounted in an old spray can cut at 45 degrees so that it exited the light out from the side of the tube. All simple stuff, never cost nothing. Unfortunately you can't see on the exiting on the right hand side there you've got a brass bush um, it's an electrical one and a half inch I think it is brass bush with a coupling on the other side which provides the draw tube entry um, for the light to escape and uh, for the tube that holds the actual eyepiece again no cost at all Wow, look at that big motor on the right hand side on the ground there just below the optical tube. Oh, that was a geared motor that I picked up for nothing and I used a bottle joint, um, I think um, it's just a connector like a universal joint connector to take it up the side of the leg there to that old pram wheel which provided the drive for the telescope. What a lump! But again, didn't cost anything. The geared motor on the floor didn't work particularly well, so the geared motor was then put onto the uh, RA shaft of wood, if you like, and uh, it was made to drive the pram wheel direct. This was a much better way of doing it, and I used a Variac transformer to, uh, to adjust the speed. <laughs> it was amazing, really. It was amazing that it worked, but I was able to pick it up, um, and it didn't cost anything. It was given to me. Now you can clearly see here that I've added a light, red light, for out of a night. You can see the BBC stage weight there which is quite low down, um, just below the pram wheel. And you can quite clearly see the two through conduit boxes, electrical conduit boxes there, that are used as bearings for the main 25mm shaft axis of the RA there. All simple stuff, all available, all junk. 
I look at my humble eyepieces now and a lot of them come from second hand shops, come from old boot fairs, they were parts of eyepieces from binoculars or from old types of telescopes, anything that I could get hold of that worked. Also you'll see in the centre of the picture there a square control which was the Variac transformer which was used to power the RA drive, that big motor that you saw hanging there. And of course then you've got the books, Norton Star Atlas and stuff like that, which I managed to get hold of second hand. Anything that I could get was interesting. One of my first pictures, taken with the body of a Zenit E camera, which I got cheap from a second hand shop because it didn't have a lens. And this is the first 35mm picture that I took using my telescope. Um, straight through, prime focus, no Barlow lens, couldn't afford one of them, but as you can see, it worked. So in answer to all the people that send me emails saying how much does it cost, to get into astronomy doesn't cost a lot at all. It depends what type of telescope you want and how much you're prepared to pay. The second-hand markets, there's your local astro club that's more than likely got a scope for you to use, and you can see if you like it and if you want to get into it. And I often quote, well, you could get into astronomy and buy a reasonable telescope for the price of an Xbox or a Sony PlayStation and a number of games. And you can spend an absolute fortune on those. So it's what you want. Or else you can start off at the bottom end like I did and you can make your own telescope, a rare event in this day and age, but you can still do it and you can make it for virtually nothing and you will learn one hell of a lot about optics and scavenging on the way almost like scrap heap challenge but there you go choice is yours I hope it's been interesting for you and it's given you some kind of insight onto how my humble beginnings started me in astronomy and okay I've got nice kit now but it wasn't always that way all the best bye